It is afternoon right now and I'm just having my first cup of coffee. And I don't know if you guys ever tried um, eggnog in your coffee, but just like a splash of it. It's really good. You're getting like the Starbucks holiday vibes without that cost. So if you guys ha haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. You can try like, um, like oat milk, um, eggnog and things like that. It's just like a little splash makes such a difference. Oh, so, so good. So I know it's a little late to be having coffee, but I thought I would pop on here and do a little fun video with you guys. So today's video is going to be a tag video and it is going to be on quietly return items. And I'll explain a little bit what that means exactly. First off, like always, thank you so much for clicking and stopping by this channel. We are all about handbags, fashion, luxury, things like that. We do unboxings, hauls, comparisons, reviews, tag videos, and all of the above, basically. So if you guys love things like that, and you guys love luxury, you love handbags, you love anything that makes your heart sing, then you might like this channel here. So please consider subscribing. If you're not following me on Instagram, stop by, say hello, and... Let's talk about what quietly return items mean. So first off, this is a tag video created by Tess from Tess Lux. So thank you so much for tagging me. Um, I love this tag because it's not anything that, I don't think I've seen anything like this on YouTube. If you guys watch YouTube or are YouTubers, you'll know that so many people do unboxings and there's always like new items coming in. But obviously like you have to take into account like at least with the stuff that I purchase, everything is really thought through. Like I don't want to just buy things just to buy things. And of course, like sometimes like you buy things, you just, it's not what you think it is, or, you know, I don't know, like things go wrong or maybe the quality isn't there. So obviously if that's the case, then we'll return the items or exchange or whatnot. So this video quietly return bag are luxury items that you quietly return, meaning that you didn't necessarily make a video out of it. I think for the most part, I do make videos out of my experiences, my, um, you know, boxings, because I want to share that with you. But I think even before I started my YouTube channel, I mean, obviously I pick up a lot of things and there's some stuff that I picked up recently. So I'll go through all of that with you guys, because I want to share like some of the stuff that I quietly return. So number one is the YSL, puffer bag in a size small and I got it in the YSL beige back then I just wanted something in the YSL beige so bad I just think it's such a beautiful milky beige and I still love it I actually have the YSL clutch in that color over here and that kind of satisfied the be having beige in my collection but now I want like their um I don't know the exact name of it, but like they're off white color, like the almost like the, um, it's like a more of an ivory color, I would say. Like I love their bag and I want that one in the puffer. But the reason why I had um, quietly returned that is because I ordered that on Neiman Marcus and it didn't have, it just said it was, they were doing like a gift card promo or something like that. I ordered it and then it said, back order for till like four months later or something but I really wanted a bag and I got a good deal so I was like you know what fine but they didn't tell me that beforehand so I didn't know because four months is a long time you you might change your mind after four months right so anyways four months came around and it came and I totally totally forgot that I had even ordered it um so I got the bag beautiful um but why I quietly returned it is because I actually felt like, cause you know, if you guys watch my channel, you know that I'm not like a, a, a necessarily a um, shoulder bag person. Like I like it for certain bags, but my intent for this one is to more for crossbody purposes. Um, and I felt like the small size crossbody looked really big. Um, it didn't look proportioned. And I felt like I love the puffer, but the toy size will actually be better for crossbody. And because I don't carry that much, I felt like the toy size will be better. So I had returned that 
piece to Neiman Marcus. Um, so it didn't really, I like opened it, tried it on, put it back in the box, took it back. It wasn't, I didn't really even do any kind of unboxing or share it on this channel because my thought was I would pick up the toy puffer later when a sale came. Um, and then I would show that instead. And then another reason why I returned that bag is in between the four months, I picked up other things. I didn't want, I couldn't justify spending additional whatever. So I figured since I forgot about it, I didn't want it that bad. So it went back to the store and that was it. I don't regret it, but I do still have that on my wish list to pick up the toy version in the white color. So I'm just kind of waiting for like right time and sale. I don't need it right away, but I would like to eventually like some day, like have that in my collection. Cause I think it's so cute. And I, you guys know, I love the little puffy bags. So the second bag, is my multi pochette Louis Vuitton bag. Now, I wanted this bag so bad and it launched, I believe, somewhere in the 20, like in 2020 when it was really popular. It was like sold out in stores. It was sold out uh, basically everywhere. So I kept on going online and I just couldn't find it on the website. I kept on saying sold out. So I finally was able, and back then I didn't have like an essay I work with. And this is like when I first like started getting back into, you know, handbags. I took a break for a while because I felt like I just didn't use handbags a lot. But when 2020 kind of popped up, I just like fell in love with handbags of all sorts, right? So I really wanted the bag. But again, like I just couldn't get one. So I finally found someone, I think it was like a, I don't know if it's like a digital person on Louis Vuitton or something like that, but they were able to secure one for me, um, secure an order, process it. Or I think what I did is I put my name down and then when they had one, they could ship it to me. So then I could have one. I just don't know like how long I would have to wait necessarily. But luckily my mom actually picked one up herself and I can't remember if she picked it up in stores or she bought it like pre-love, but she picked one up and she got it. And I guess it's like a little too small for her because she's used to carrying big things. But her thing was it's a little too small and she didn't like the fact there was so much happening on it. She said when you actually wear it, it like all kind of dangles and she just finds it annoying. So she's like, you she shouldn't give the bag to me, but she kind of gave the bag to me. She's like, just use it. And if I want to use it, I'll use it. So therefore I canceled that order because I just used hers. So here is, um, this version over here. Now this bag to me is like, I would, I think between this one and also the Prada re-edition one I have, I much prefer the Prada re-edition because I like the look of it a little bit more. Um, and I felt like this one is a little bit trendy and eventually like it will probably go a little like, you know, like out of trend, but I mean, I still like using it. This is actually the bag I'm using right now. I need to head out, do some last minute Christmas shopping. So this will be the bag that I'm going to be using. I do like the bag, but I'm also kind of glad I didn't have to buy it <laughs> because at the time, actually, I think when I wanted it, the bag was only like 1900. Um, obviously now it's a lot more. So I guess for 19, it's not that bad. I wouldn't have minded it, but at the same time, it's like, I'm just borrowing my mom's now. So I guess that counts, right? As quietly returning. Another one is, and hopefully this counts as a return. So the thing is like with luxury items, I don't really want to return it unless I really like have an issue. Like the only time I've really returned luxury bags is if there's a quality issue, right? Like, and I'll do exchanges. Like my bum bag had issues. I had like a fleecy, like a lot of Louis Vuitton pieces I've picked up actually have issues that made me not want the bag. So I would either exchange it or just get my money back, right? So usually those are the reasons for me to return. I usually try not to if it's just because I changed my mind. Um, but for this purchase, it was a Chanel piece and it was the trendy CC. And again, like I was debating between the 19 my Chanel 19 and the Trendy CC. So I actually had placed an order over the phone to pick up the Trendy CC. So I went in there to pick it up. Um, but then when I actually, and I think the Trendy CC now is a little different. Correct me if I'm wrong, but at that time, and I think again, this is like in the 2020, this is like a while ago. At the time when I tried out the Trendy CC, the straps are pretty short. So it sat really high up. And again, like 
I intended to use that as a crossbody and like a crook of my arm kind of thing, but I wanted to have the option. And when I put it on, it was a little too high, especially like over coat. But then over the weekend, I tried on the latest trendy CC and it was like the perfect size. It like fits right here. So now like I want to go back and get it. But at the time it was a little too short and because it sat up higher and the size, the accordion bulged out, I felt like it just didn't look that good on. So instead, I I guess I never purchased it and they just had it on hold for me. So I basically told them never mind. And then I got the Chanel 19 instead, which no regrets. I love my Chanel 19, but I do really love the trendy still, um, especially now that the chains, I don't know if we're for whatever reason, I think they made it longer. It just looks so much better. Um, I saw this color in stores and I absolutely fell in love. I just need to think about it more because I don't know if this is gonna be like a color I'm gonna fall out of love with, if I should just stick with like a neutral color, but how gorgeous is that? You guys know I've been on this like green kick, so I found it really beautiful. So now this is gonna have to sit on my wish list. But yeah, that was something that I guess I didn't return, but at the same time, I kind of canceled that. Like when I saw it, I didn't want it. Again, like because I don't return that many things in the luxury bag world, I just trying to like share with you some more experiences per se. But yeah, that was one of them. Another one is the YSL Collage bag. And this one I did, I ordered it off of, I don't know if it was like off of um, Selfridges or something like that, right? I got a pretty good deal. And I think at the time, like Selfridges, if you guys didn't know, or like a lot of UK sites, the bags for some reason are cheaper. And even I think with like fees and stuff, it's still cheaper than buying it in the YSL boutique. So I picked up the Collège bag. Um, and this is before I bought my Collège in the large size. And I purchased this bag without actually seeing it or trying it on. And that was my mistake number one. Always try on the bags before you make purchases because sometimes photos and what you think in your mind is not like what it is when you actually put it on. So when I put on the collage, I did not like how the chunky chain looked on me. I thought the gold was also just really extreme. The way the bag hung was really low and I just felt like it didn't look good. You guys know I like bags that sit higher. And because it sat so low and the chains were so intense, I just didn't think it was cute. The only way that bag was cute is if you actually hold it like this, right? And I just, I don't know, for some reason I didn't like it. So anyways, I had returned it. Color I got at the time was just black, um, which, you know, was a really classic color. The bag is beautiful, but I returned it. Yeah, I returned it back. Um, I just mailed it back. And then I picked up the larger size Kalish because that one um, I felt like just the look was a little bit better and I got a really good deal on Fashion File. Uh, but I, I did end up selling that one because I it's just not the size was so big. I didn't have anything to fill it with. So, but it is a gorgeous bag, don't get me wrong. And then I went to Hawaii, I saw the Kalish bag again. And then I saw it in the like the ivory white and then the beige. I thought it was so beautiful. And then I wanted it again. So I almost picked it up again, but thank goodness I didn't because the issues were still there, right? The chain's still really long. It's still like really intense. So I'm glad I didn't pick it up for the second time, regretted it. So that was one. I think I had one more, and this is a while ago. I had ordered it off a fashion file. It was a Dior little pouch. Now, I guess this is not quietly returning because I actually um, did do an unboxing or I showed it on my channel, and it's this one over here, but I'm going to add it in anyways. Um, I love this one. I had such high hopes for it because I wanted to wear that with my Dior strap. I just thought it looked so good. Unfortunately, the pouch was too small. It didn't look as small as it was, but it was not the size of it, but it was so narrow, like the bottom part, the width of it was so narrow, you really could only fit like your wallet and like two other things and that's it. And then the strap on that didn't look as good as I thought too. I felt like it didn't match 100% and also sat really short because that strap looks really good on the saddle. The saddle bag is a little bit longer. So with the shorter strap, you still get the bag to hang like right here, right? But if you're looking, at a little pouch with the short strap. I mean, I'm five, 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 six. It like sits more up here. It just looks really odd. Um, and that pouch, to be honest, for a pouch, it still wasn't that cheap. I think it was still like 
$1,200. So with the $1,200, I figured I could use that for something a lot more functional. So I had, um, I don't think I shared on my channel that I returned it, but I did. Um, and yeah, no regrets there. So I, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's kind of like the history of some of the things that I regretted. Um, so my new thing now is try the number one, try the bags on before you buy it. Make sure it is what you want because you don't want to have to deal with the hassle of returning. Number two, no, don't just get things on a whim. Like really think about if that's going to be something that you'll use long, long term. Um, that's what I'm practicing right now because a lot of times when I buy things on a whim, I realize I don't even use it, right? So think through it because, you know, luxury items are just getting more expensive and we want to be mindful of what we spend. And number three, does it bring you joy? That's number one, right? Because if it doesn't bring happiness, then why are we spending our money? <laughs> and that is pretty much it. That is it. And I thought this tag was so creative. So thank you, Tess Lux, for tagging me. I'm going to tag a few other friends in the description box below. I would love to see what you guys quietly return. And if I didn't tag you, you're still welcome to do the video. Just make sure you tag me so I can watch them. I want to, I always love watching what other people's experiences are. I think it helps me with my future purchases. And also I just love watching it. So again, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.